Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to show how we can create a 2D drawing consisting of 6 photographic views plus an optional perspective view. Okay, let's start. Okay, by default, when uh, we use uh, Rhino's uh, make 2D command to create 3D views, we will get only these three orthographic views okay that corresponds to the blue colored squares namely the top the front and the right views okay so in order for us to get the additional views uh, that are represented by the red squares we will have to do the 2d drawing an additional time to generate um, the red uh, square uh, views okay so let's see how we can do it okay okay now uh, what I'm going to do is um, to move this aside okay and generate the first sets of uh, 2D photographic views okay so um, for that maybe uh, I will want to make a copy of this okay so I'm going to press the alt key and make a copy of this the purpose for making a copy of this is that uh, this copy will be um, used to refer to the various uh, autographic views that are being generated okay so now let's uh, create the first set of 2D drawing. So go to dimension, make 2D drawing, and I go to set the uh, hidden lines and the group output and set this to perspective. Okay, by the way, if you set this to perspective, the 3D view will be uh, created based on the perspective view. Okay, so I click OK. Okay, so I got the first set of uh, views, okay, and they, as mentioned, corresponds to the blue squares, okay. So now what we need to do next is to generate the views that are corresponding to the red squares, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate of this. I'm going to press the Alt key make a duplicate of this and okay you know that Rhino generates um, these views okay so in a way um, I will have to let me delete this these are uh, blue ones in a way I will to orientate this object until I'm able to have Rhino generate uh, these views that corresponds to the red square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them and rotate them accordingly. Okay. So what I did is I press and hold the shift key to uh, turn on the temporary auto. Okay. So I think I need to have a uh, rotation again. So yeah, something like that. Okay. Can you see now that I have um oriented the object with the corresponding um, red squares to this um, orientation that means to say if I were to make a 2d drawing using the make 2d command what I will get is uh, these views okay corresponding to the red squares okay so uh, let's do it. Before that, let me hide this. Okay, so I need to hide this. Okay, so select this and go to dimension, make 2D drawing, and using the same uh, parameters, click OK.
okay now i got some additional views okay which i need to reorient to get them to align and lay out in the uh, six view format okay so i don't need this so i'm going to uh, delete this okay now um how do i a certain the, the the view to be placed on the new location okay to do that we can uh, refer back to our original um, model which is this one okay and you know that let me move this over here so that you can see it better okay we know that this view correspond to to, to to this view okay and this view correspond to this view here okay so this view over here will correspond to this view here okay okay so this view here so we got uh, the bigger portion on the right side okay so that will be this this view okay so I need to move it here and then have to uh, rotate it let me move this two away uh, into a manner that is um, correct that means okay let me repeat again so you need to be looking something like that okay so I need to rotate this uh, right angle like that okay and place it Okay, now uh, let's decide what is the view that will be displayed here, okay, on, on this region here. Okay, so um, this corresponds to this view, so we have to bring down like that, okay, rotate down like that to see that, uh, okay, this is how that view will look like, okay, so this portion it's on the right side and this is on the top side okay so it's actually this thing here so I need to move this and rotate it in a correct manner okay so let's look at the thing again okay so it's going to look like that okay it's going to look like, like that that means to say I need to rotate this in this manner Okay, now I need to put the last view. This this view. Okay, this view. Uh, I think I want to put it over here. And okay, now we know that this view corresponds to this view here, and the one beside it, okay, will be looking something like that. Okay, looking something like that. With this portion on the left side. Okay. So let me move this over here and let's view it again. Okay, so this is here, something like that. And then we need to have this thing looking like that, okay? So this is on the left side, okay? So we need to rotate this, something like that, okay? Yep. Okay, we have all our views are done up, okay? Let me just uh, move this aside as to not confuse our work. Okay, so the next thing we need to do um, is to align them accurately. Okay, so let me move this away. 
uh, move this stuff up okay what I'm gonna do is um let me go over to the top view okay and I'm gonna draw a uh, horizontal and a uh, vertical line to help in our alignment work okay so I'm gonna draw a horizontal line here and I'm gonna draw a vertical line here okay and using the relevant object snaps okay uh, namely we can use things like the end and near and also the, the intersect to snap our views to this correct location so pressing and holding the control key I'm going to move this one corner here and using the end the near snap okay I'll move this here and then repeat the same pressing and ho holding the control key I uh, snap it to the end here and then I will align it uh, maybe this way so I do the same for all the rest Finally, this view. Okay, we have got the the views are accurately aligned. Okay, let, let us just check. Okay. So if I were to move this up. Yeah, this alignment is correct. This alignment is correct. And this is correct. This is correct. And yeah, you can see that they are all correct. Okay, so we don't need uh these uh these lines anymore. Okay, so we have um created our two D drawing consisting of six photographic views and one perspective view okay and the the curves of the views they are already placed in the respective um, layers namely the the sub layers of the make 2d group so you can if you want to uh, make modifications to things like the line type the print width and so on so forth okay and with that I come to the end of this um, demo hope that's been useful to you see you around bye